In this video, I'm going to refashion a man's shirt with interesting back detail and front detail. The back detail has been inspired by an other project that I did a few weeks ago. Let's get started. I'm starting this shirt project using the back of the shirt. I'm starting there and I'm going to draw a curved line from this pin to this pin and doing it freehand. You can use a French curve or a flexi curve. Right, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to cut up and towards that pin. Okay, now I'm going to cut the other half. It's just easier doing it this way. You can fold the shirt in half. If you have a plain shirt, it's a lot easier. And then I'm going to cut the other side. Hello, if you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exists. Let's get back to the video. Now I'm working on the back still, I'm putting the facing onto the back. I've got a pin representing the centre back and I've just knit there so I can match them up. So right side and right side. Pin into place. And because it's a curve it's best to put as many pins in so you get a nice neat sewing. I'm going to pin all the way down each side of this gorgeous curve. I have added the facing and now for the curve you need to make little notches to the stitch line, not through the stitch line, so that curve can lay nice and flat on the inside and looks beautiful on the outside. This is the back section that I cut away. So I'm now ready to make some straps. So I've got that pin indicating where I'm going to cut. So I'm just going to cut along these straight like nice lines in order for me to create the straps for the back of this top. So the back is now finished, the facing is on, and still got basting stitch in there, the straps or the ties I should say are on as well and yeah just a little bit of hand sewing that needs to be done. So now that is done I now need to move on to the sleeve. So what's going to happen with the sleeve? The cuffs. The cuffs are, are too big. So I'm going to remove these buttons and put them further in so it's a lot tighter around my wrist like so and then I'm going to open up halfway on the sleeve I'm going to open up well I'm going to cut into the seam to the underarm seam so this, the cuffs are now smaller and now working on the upper part of the sleeve so I'm going to cut along where these pins are here and it's going to be open and I'm going to bind one side and the other side I'm going to turn it twice and hand stitching so it's going to be a lot of hand stitching in this project as with all of my projects really so I have to be careful here how I cut into it it's a case of just pinching with the scissors really getting a little so I'm not cutting through to the other side of the sleeve right. and I'll just put the tip of my sleeve scissors in there turn and then start cutting the back is so open but it does work 
So what I've created here is I put placement for pins where I'm going to sew a pleat here and a tuck here. So this will like this at the front, this gorgeous kind of pleat effect that's happening and this tuck effect that's happening that will kind of make it sure that it fits towards the front of my body. And then to finish off this interesting detail, I'm making sure that I use 100% of the shirt. This is the back of the shirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold, double, do a double fold on both ends. I'm not sure, I'm, I think I might machine sew, I'm not sure yet, or hand sew all this, and then place this onto the front. I'm now at the hand sewing stage and there's a lot of it, but it's beautiful. So I've now bound the edge there, the curved edge, and I've also neatened the edges here. I was going to perhaps hand stitch or machine stitch it, but I've actually used Wonderweb in order to get this nice crisp look that I want for the front of the top. The next hand stitching I'm in the process of doing now is the arms, it's the sleeves. So I've done that side where we have the shirt original stitching and the other side I'm also doing the same process that I've done with the one I've just showed you. So that is now I pinned and I based and I'm almost near the end of sewing that together. So before I get to that stage it looks like this, pinned, based and then I finish off with a small hand stitching technique. Please check the video description for links to video tutorials as well. Okay, I am almost near the end. I've now added those two strips to the front of the shirt that creates a gorgeous, oh, I don't know what words to describe it, fluffiness, you know, the, the, the fullness of these soft, beautiful folds. So they have been based and stitched into position like so and oh yeah before i go on to that these have been sewn into place this helps to give the front of the garment a bit more of a fit so we've got a tuck there and a pleat there that looks amazing and let me just show you what it looks like with just the pins so I just need to sew this side so I place all the pins in randomly but obviously following with the previous one and what I did is I put it on the stand and draped it and got this kind of effect so yeah I can't wait for it to be completed so that's the stage I'm at and then I'm going to show you the end results in a moment the shirt is now complete and it's gorgeous I would say that wouldn't I but this ruffled effect is just Mm, scrumptious this is the front of the shirt um, the sleeves the opening this allows it to have more volume to the sleeve so it doesn't look too much like a man's sleeve on a shirt and then finally the back detail oh, which I think is absolutely gorgeous it's open it's got this gorgeous curve and it has this tie which I've actually knotted as a necktie kind of knot detail and yes let's try this on and see what it looks like on my body i am so excited oh, oh, gorgeousness i just love it it's so different i know it won't be there for its taste but i love it i think this is what you can do with using 100 percent of the shirt and this section here was the back section of the the shirt as you can see this gorgeous opening and this tie detail that's happening and the sleeves what I tried to achieve with the sleeves I hope it has opened it out to offer a bit more volume so it doesn't look too much like a man's shirt sleeve and yeah really happy with the results I am so happy it's really looking gorgeous and I can put my hands in my pockets semi fitted at the front um, I can button it all the way down but I like it the way it is where I stop, where I stop the buttoning at my waistline and yeah, gorgeous! If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up, please make a comment 
and do also encourage me to refashion other garments by you putting your ideas forward and remember we can always always refashion clothes that already exist so like i said if you enjoyed the video then please give it a thumbs up and i will see you next time thank you for watching